the two most important ones have been for me is working on my sleep disturbance and depression. Those have been two things that had really been overriding factors. What has happened with them? Like They're gone. But from my viewpoint as a psychiatrist dealing with people that have phobias and so forth, I know that there isn't any other technique that could have achieved anywhere near the results that you achieved. I, my body was just totally in pain. It could hardly sit still. And I've been doing a lot of this yesterday and last night and today, and I don't feel any pain in my body. My neck, my shoulders, my back, my legs. <laughs> Welcome to this introductory version of EFT, the, the purpose of which is to acquaint you with EFT and to walk you through it step by step on an issue of your own so you can experience the power of this fascinating process. What you're going to learn here are the basics. Um, obviously, we can do much more with EFT than I could possibly display for you in this short introductory video, but we can get you started in a quality way, and that's what we're here to do. Also, while EFT is normally quite gentle, and the vast majority of people can apply it to themselves on a wide variety of issues, this gentle nature is not necessarily true for everyone. For example, there's a small percent of our population, maybe 2-3%, uh, that should not attempt any emotional healing procedure without the presence and guidance of a skilled professional. Accordingly, you need to take responsibility for your, for your own use of these procedures and to consider the enlisting the guidance of a skilled professional if merited in your case. Okay, it's time now to get into the meat of EFT uh, so I can prepare you for the Let's Do It section, which is the next section in this, in this video. The, that's the section where you will actually apply EFT to yourself for an issue of your own. As part of that preparation, let me give you a little background, um, the, the theory in the background of uh, EFT, so you'll have some better understanding of what you're doing. Um, simply stated, EFT is an emotional version of acupuncture, except we don't use needles. What we do is we tune in to the emotional issue simply by making some statements about it, and then we balance the energy system by stimulating the meridian points and tapping on certain er by tapping on certain areas in the body. You'll see, you'll see that in more detail as we, in the let's do it, in the let's do it section. But that's, that's the basics of it. That's, that's what happens. Uh, metaphorically, let me give you a, a, another way to look at that. Uh, let's say I had a television set here, and we have it plugged into the wall, and, and uh, you're seeing a normal picture and a normal sound because the electricity, that is the energy in the television set, is flowing normally the way it should. Now, if I were to take the back of that television set off, and take a screwdriver and put that screwdriver and run it amongst the uh, electronic spaghetti inside of that, inside of that uh, television set, uh, I'm going to disrupt, I'm going to cause short circuits uh, in that energy system. And what you're going to see is instead of a nice picture and nice sound, you're going to see a distorted picture and static for sound. And that's the way it will be until I stop disrupting the energy system uh, within that television set. And it will return to normal, so it can return to normalcy. Now, uh, there's a parallel between that and what goes on in our emotional systems. When we tune in to a specific, let's say, past event, uh, you know, a rejection, a fear event, an anger, a trauma, something we might have guilt about, and so on, when we tune into that, the, the excess emotion that we feel um, that sometimes limits us is a, is a form of a zzzt that goes on in our system, just like a zzzt would go on in the television set. And it's that zzzt that we can correct by tapping on the energy system and using EFT. Properly done, when you balance it, the zit did not happen anymore, and you couldn't get upset about the issue if you tried. What we need to do now is locate a, an unwanted memory that, that we'd like to apply EFT to, and there's a, going to be a four-step process for that, four simple, rather brief steps. Um, I, what I want to point out first, though, that is, is that you may want to pause, you know, by clicking the pause button, this video a time or two if you want to make some notes and stop and do some things and this kind of thing. So be sure to, be sure to use that pause button and the play button um, uh, as, as the need arises. Okay, the first step, of course, is to, is to locate uh, the issue you want to work on. And what, I, uh, what we'd like to have you do is to make a mental movie of a specific unwanted memory of five years ago or, or more. Um, now, 
Let, let me talk about what I mean by a specific memory. I, I'm really talking about a specific event. And let me describe what that means by making a comparison. Let's say in your life, one of the issues for you is that your father always ridiculed you. And that's causing you some emotional issues over your lifetime and you'd like to have that dissipate. Um, the term, the term, my father always ridiculed me is too global, at least for the purposes of this uh, video and, 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 and this experience. We can certainly handle that with EFT, but it takes more than we're able to display here. What we want to do is narrow things down into a specific event. Because see, my father always ridiculed me is made up of lots of specific events that give evidence to the fact that my father always ridiculed me. So a specific event might be something like uh, the time my father called me fatso in front of my friends at my at my eighth birthday party. Okay, and you may have have a lot of rejection feelings about that. You may have anger about that. You may have some other things that are still carrying over to this day, and you'd like to discharge that. So it's that kind of a specific event um, that we need to to zero in on. And one of the best ways to to do that is to make a little movie of it. Uh, a mental movie. So if you can make a mental movie of it, it would have a beginning, it would have an end, it would have a characters, it would have a plot, it would have a crescendo, it would have or maybe a climax, that kind of thing. When you make a little movie of it, uh, then you have contained it and we can apply EFT to it uh, rather effectively and efficiently uh, if you do that. So that's the first step is to make a mental, me me a mental movie of a past specific emotional event that you'd like to have discharged, and that event should be, at least for these purposes, five years ago or more. Okay? Now, the next thing you do is you, you write down a brief title for that, that movie. In the example I gave, the title might be something like, Father Calls Me Fatso. Or it could be just simply Fatso. All it has to do is be some kind of a title that reminds you, reminds your system when you repeat it, of what that issue is, what that specific event is. Uh, that's important because you're going to use that title of that movie on the Let's Do It tape, which is or video, which is next. Um, so you need to you know, make that movie the briefer the better. Uh, you don't want a long, you know, three sentence title. Just a few words or one word will do it. Okay. The next thing you need to do is to run that movie in your mind in detail. You just close your eyes and you reimagine it in detail and you notice the intensity that you develop in doing that, which then brings us to the final step, which is to write, that, write down that intensity on a zero to 10 scale. Zero is complete peace on the subject, and 10 is very is, is as intense as you've ever been on it. I realize it's an estimate. Uh, nobody can be exact on this, but it's a benchmark, and we're gonna use that you know, on the Let's Do It video uh, uh, shortly. So maybe it's a, a 10, maybe it's a seven, uh, but let me also point out that it needs to be the intensity that you are feeling now, not the intensity that it was when you first experienced it, in this example, at your eight-year-old birthday party. Okay? So with, as soon as you have done that, um, uh, then you'll be done with this section of it and you'll be prepared for the next section. Let's do it. Okay, with the title of your movie and the 0 to 10 intensity written down, it's time to apply EFT to your specific event. What I'm going to have you do is just simply tap on certain parts of your body and repeat certain phraseology after me. Um, I would point out that the phrases I asked you to say, I would, I would urge you to say them whether you believe them or not, because belief just is not necessary for this process to work. The other thing about the phraseology which we need to emphasize is that, is that part of that phraseology will be a blank, there will be a pause in it where you can insert uh, the title of your movie. For example, this process starts off with, uh, even though I have this pause experience, and so on. And, and where that pause was, you'd put in the title of your movie. Uh, from our previous example, it would look like this. Even though I have this father called me fatso experience, so on it goes. Um, 
other other parts of the process will have you tapping on certain parts of your body like this like and like this and the phrases will be a little bit different it will be this pause experience where you would put in this father called me fatso or your version of that your, your title of your movie uh, experience this father called me fatso experience okay. simple enough so with that in mind let's just let's just get started and do it uh, follow after me if you will First thing you do is you tap on either hand the, the what we call the karate chop spot. It's that fleshy spot on the outside uh, of your hand. Um, and uh, just say these words. Even though I have this experience, I deeply and completely accept myself. Use that emphasis too, by the way. We'll do it three times. Even though I have this experience, I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I have this experience, I deeply and completely accept myself. Okay, then you want to tap on the beginning of either one of your eyebrows, right up here, and say this experience. And then the outside corner, the bone on the outside corner of either eye, and say this experience. And then the bone underneath either eye, about a half an inch below the pupil, and say this experience. And then underneath the nose, and say this experience. And then, then below the lower lip, say this experience. And then take your fist and thump the very top of your breastbone, and say this experience. And then underneath either arm, about four inches below the armpit, say this experience. And that's all there is to it. That's a shortcut version of EFT, which should be effective for, for just about everybody who uses it for specific events like we're talking about. Now, uh, what you need to do now is to, is to close your eyes, run your mental movie, and notice the 0 to 10 intensity and write down that number. If you're not at zero, then what you need to do is to go back, you know, rewind this video back to the beginning of the tapping sequence and do another round. Uh, typically anywhere from one to five rounds, specific events like these just fade, and the fading, by the way, is typically permanent. Um, if for some reason after five rounds of this you still have not made headway or have not made satisfactory headway, uh, you can go to the section on this videotape which is, in, which is entitled uh, if it doesn't work. And there you'll see a few hints, maybe a reminder or two that should get you back on track. If you're watching this, I presume it's because you've applied EFT one to five rounds to your specific movie and you, had not, you have not noticed results. Uh, let me point out, uh, before we get to what might be behind that, uh, an experience that I've had with great frequency, and that is I will apply this to entire audiences, 80, 100, 300, 500 people at a time. And we will do not five rounds, but typically two, three, or four rounds. And when I ask the audience to raise their hand, as to how many notice very positive results, 80% is a bad day. <laughs> you know, often it's 90%. That does not mean, however, that just because you did not receive results um, or notice the results, uh, that you are defective. <laughs> Believe me. <laughs> what that means is we need to get behind the process a little bit in your behalf. So let me, let, me, let me do that if I may. One of the things that happens with some frequency is that when we, when we ask um, or suggest that you do a specific movie, uh, the term specific movie means different things to different people. Um, and sometimes that movie needs to be more specific still. So let me give you a little example to put in perspective because maybe you have some parallel to this that, that would help you the next time we, or you go back to the earlier part of the video and do the one to five rounds again. A few years ago, I was giving a workshop and, and uh, you know, I, I applied this to, I think it was about 80 people in the room. And again, 80, 90% of the people raised their hands, got positive results. But one gal came up to me at the break who said she did not get any results at all. And so I said, well, okay, what was your movie? And her response was, 
well, I don't like the appearance of my face. I thought, well, okay, that doesn't seem like a specific movie to me, but to her, you understand, that is specific. And so, when I quizzed her on the kind of movie she did, what she did was she just made up a general movie about, you know, her... I mean, she made it up, is what she did, about the appearance of her face that she did not like. Well, that's too global. That's too general, at least for this exercise. We can, we can address that with more sophisticated uses of EFT, but here we want to get down to the experience of it, and we want to get down to a very specific movie, and that is not specific enough. So what I did was I queried her a little bit, only to find that there was a time, uh, a very specific time, during her younger years, when her mother made some derogatory comment about her face, um, which has stayed with her all this time, has a difficult time talking about that particular event, specific event, without having some emotion about it. My guess is it's, very, it's a very core issue underneath the, the um, not liking the appearance of her face. Which, by the way, I happen to have thought she was a rather attractive lady. She just had some pock marks in her face she had to look very closely at to see. Um, I mean, there would be the specific movie. You know, the time my mother said X about my face when I was 11 years old uh, in the kitchen. Right? That would be a very specific movie. Okay? So to the extent your movie needs to be more specific, you know, please do, because, because that's a very important criteria to have this exercise uh, provide benefits for you. Now, the other thing is something called aspects, which you will, you will get more training on or more education on if you choose to go farther than just these, these video, this video. Um, let me illustrate that by, by an example. Again, a few years ago, a, a, a lady came to me and she had a, um, her issue was a fear um, of being in a car because she had had an accident many years prior, a car accident. And so what we did was, we, now, see, 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 the car accident is a very specific memory. Like the time my car crashed, or I was in a car crash at 3rd and Elm on January 12th, 1994. Okay, that's very specific, isn't it? Um, however, even though that is specific and you can make a specific movie of it, you could still be more specific still in some cases because because that movie is made up of aspects. Now, let me tell you what happened here because this will illustrate this very nicely, and you can and you can draw your own parallels for your own circumstance. Um, what I what I said to her or what I asked her was well. Okay, of all the things in that accident, what bothers you the most? And she instantly came up with, oh, the headlights. The headlights. I can still see them coming at me. <laughs> oh. Now, she had had nightmares about that, intrusive memories about that. Those headlights had kept her from getting in cars. You know, without, she could get in cars, but she would be very uncomfortable all the time driving, always looking for, you know, where's the headlights and what's going to come at her next, okay? So we used EFT on the headlights. E <laughs> even though I can still see those headlights coming at me, even though I have fear of those headlights, and so on. All right? And then I made an error, because after we were done, I asked her this question. I said, okay, how do you feel now about the accident? And her response was, oh no, uh, it's, it, it's no better. It's no better. It's a very intense circumstance for me. I, oh, oh. And so it appeared as though EFT didn't work, but my mistake was, I, what I should have done was say, well, how are the headlights now? Which I eventually did. When she zeroed in on the headlights, oh, those aren't any problems. She waved them off as though they were never a problem. And here they were the most intense things she brought up to begin with. Okay. Well, I said, well, what bothers you about the accident? Oh, the screams in the car, the screams in the car. You see, she shifted aspects from the headlights coming at me to the screens in the car. But to her, and this is what's important uh, to help you with this, is that the, those two aspects were still part of the same accident. To her, they're all the same thing. Uh, and she does not distinguish between headlights and screams in the car because she doesn't have that kind of experience with this yet. To her, it's just the accident is the accident. So then we did some tapping on the screams in the car. Those subsided rather quickly. And as it turns out, there were no more aspects in this case, but there could have been. And, and so she, she had resolution on that issue and it hasn't bothered her. 
However, just to be clear here and complete, there could be more aspects involved. Things like, oh, anger at the other drivers, for example. Or anger at doctors or lawyers or anybody else who may have been involved in the aftermath. Um, so, anyway, that, that gives you a sense of the aspects of it. See, you can shift from piece to piece of it, from aspect to aspect, and not think you're getting results. And so I point that out to you for you to, when you do this again, to look at the different aspects of it. Are you focusing on this thing differently? Is there a different piece of it coming up that wasn't there the first time? Very important to notice, because now you want to tap on that second piece, and then if you need to, that third piece, etc. I'll also say that quite often with an accident or some other traumatic event like that, we can often just do one round for the accident, uh, and that's all we need. It just it just dissipates from that point forward. All the aspects seem to be taken get taken up all in one little ball, and and uh, you know we get re, we get resolution on it. Now the other thing I want to mention to you that happens within these these movies is sometimes you can start off in a movie having one emotion about it and successfully tap, but then have another emotion about it. And it will not seem as though you've made any headway because it's still a heavy deal for you. For example, you could start on one movie and have great anger about it. And you'll tap and tap and tap with EFT. You'll do a few rounds of it. And if you'll notice, if you'll pay attention, it isn't anger anymore that you have. You now have sadness about it. So you might, you might have originally started off with, even though I had this fear of the da-da-da-da-da, whatever it may be, and the fear subsides. But now if there's sadness, you'll not want to start tapping again on even though I have sadness about the da-da-da-da-da. Okay? And so these are all these little subtleties that come up. Um, for, in, mo in most cases, for most issues, uh, they don't come up. That's why we get 80 or, 80 or 90 percent with a whole wide audience of people. For this particular issue, your particular movie, uh, you've fallen in the 10 or 20 percent. Again, you're not defective, but it's something you need, need to look at. So with that in mind, with that in mind, please go back to the, um, to the uh, previous section on this video so you can go back and tap along with me of one to five times on that specific memory of yours. Make sure you're specific enough. Make sure you're watching the aspects or the changing emotions.